1920, Henrietta Lacks was born in Roanoke, Virginia. By 31, she was a mother of five in Baltimore, fighting for her life against cervical cancer. In 1951, at Johns Hopkins Hospital, doctors found a tumour on her cervix. Without telling her, they cut samples from her body and sent them to a lab. Henrietta never agreed, never even knew. Months later, she died in pain, buried in an unmarked grave. But her cells, they never died. They multiplied endlessly. Scientists called them immortal, named Hela, short for Henrietta Lacks. Those cells built modern medicine, the polio vaccine, cancer research, IVF, HIV treatment, even COVID breakthroughs. Her body changed the world. But while corporations made billions, her family lived in poverty, never compensated, never even told. For decades, her name was erased while her cells circled the globe. In 2023, more than 70 years later, Henrietta Lacks' descendants finally reached a settlement with biotech giant Thermal Fisher Scientific, a company still selling her cells. Thermo Fisher tried to dismiss the case, claiming the statute of limitations had run out. But the family argued the cells are still being replicated, meaning the exploitation never stopped. The lawsuit called it what it was. The history of medical experimentation in the US has been the history of medical racism. Henrietta Lacks was more than a cell line. She was a black woman whose story forces us to face a question America still hasn't answered. How many miracles were built on injustice?